two, one. All right, so we're gonna do now a sleeper stretch. A lot of times when we're dealing with a limitation um, due to pain, when raising the arm up, it may be associated with some of the more passive structures of the shoulder joint. So understand that anytime that we say we're gonna stretch something, a lot of times what we're actually doing is reducing tone, which improves range of motion. Specifically in this one particular stretch, we're gonna first wanna get rid of all the tone so we can put a little bit more um, force on the actual passive structures of the shoulder, namely the actual shoulder capsule. The capsule has ligaments that do blend into it. So when there's pain and pain leads to lack of wanting to move into pain, a lot of times these structures can become uh, less compliant. So this is an easy stretch to do. We're gonna pick a spot on the ground, lay down on our side. We're gonna want the arm to be roughly at about 90 degrees to the body. I'm gonna bend the elbow and then from here, on average what I'm looking at is can this arm get to about 45 or 40 or so degrees. Now, as you move into this position, you're gonna feel some restriction in the shoulder. What I want you to do from here is just stop pushing as soon as you feel the restriction. We're gonna hold for roughly about 10 seconds. After that, I'm gonna take this bottom hand and start producing some tension into the top hand. So I'm literally trying to push. I'm gonna maybe pick about 30% max effort and I'm just gonna push myself out of the position. Okay, and I'm gonna push back into the position where this hand is now resisting the, the internal rotation of the arm. Now again, I'm gonna to get to a point where I don't get much more out of it. Now again, I'm gonna relax that arm Press a little deeper into the next spot. You don't want to crank it. Now again, count to about 10 seconds or so, and then from there, again, 20, 30% resistance. Start pulling back out into external rotation, and then pushing back into internal rotation. And then again, relaxing the arm, and going for one more round of this. If we need to do higher repetitions, it's because we need to address more of that isometric strength coming in and out of that position or concentric eccentric strength. Um, if we do want to get a little bit better at doing this movement, we can just isometrically hold this also for 10 and equally push the other way and hold for 10.